Hi there, uh, this is Brian, and uh, I'm putting up my shade cloth way late. This is uh, June 20th, I think. 19th, I think. One of the two. Anyhow, uh, so I'm up putting my shade cloth today. It's been very hot and very extremely dry for uh, June in Wisconsin. Uh, other parts of our country are underwater almost. You know, go figure. But anyhow, just showing you here the difference shade cloth makes in a garden. Now this is my main tomato bed. And you can see it's in bright sunshine. This starts getting sunshine around 7.30 in the morning until 7, 7.30 at night. And then dramatically, the difference with the shade cloth right there you can see it it's like the difference between night and day and this is 60 60 40 yeah 60 40 shade cloth so I just wanted to play with my new phone here I don't know how to use it obviously but and I just want to show you what happens, especially the black crims go around this way. Now uh, my flags give it this a little shade this time of day, just between 12, 31 o'clock. But see, that's leaf curl. That is leaf, what they call leaf curl. Trying to work this camera a bit. That's leaf curl. You see how the the leaf here is curled, and it's retaining moisture. Fortunately, today we have a nice east wind of around 10, 11 miles an hour, and that's helping to cool the plants. But still, they're losing a lot of moisture right now. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show the. I'm still trying to figure out how to work this thing. Okay, I just wanted to show the dramatic difference in what shade cloth does in the garden. And uh, so there you have it. Then I just have two more pieces. I got the main ones up. Then I have two more. About five, I got about another 10 feet to put up here. So. Anyhow, that's it. Hope everybody has a good day. Stay well. Bye now.